Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I welcome you all to another episode. But today's topic is a bit sad. It's a bit sad because it's a video about a woman, a married woman who committed suicide. And it's not a pleasant news to hear. And only Allah knows best. And what I want to say about this is there is no problem, there is no situation that there is no way out. Even silence sometimes is a form of solving a problem. Mostly we hear silence is golden. But sometimes it's not all silence that's golden. If you are suffering, and you don't voice it out that kind of silence is not golden that kind of silence won't give you a solution to the problem that kind of silence won't give you the satisfaction that you need to drive you out of that craziness to drive you out of that pain to drive you out of whatever you are going through because i believe she committing suicide wasn't just a moment thing. This might probably be going through her mind, thinking that's the only way out of whatever problem she is facing. Because no one will commit suicide out of no reason. There is a reason behind it. And we are not going to judge her because committing suicide is haram in Islam. Is haram, it's not acceptable. Even I think in law, law too is not acceptable. You try to commit suicide if you don't die at the end of the day, you have a problem. So it's not just acceptable, both religiously and culturally, it's not acceptable. That's why most of the times walking away, walking away is the best. For instance, whatever problem she might be going through, as it is said, whether it's due to abuse in the marriage or it was due to dowry problem, let's say she has tried all possible means of solving it and she couldn't at the end of the day. Divorce is there. It's a way of solving whatever problem she was facing. It's not like divorce is a big deal like committing adultery. Who wouldn't choose to divorce rather than to commit adultery? You understand my point? So most of the time, if you feel like you are suffocating in the marriage, if you feel like I've tried whatever possible means of making it work, of bringing peace and it's not working, walk away. It's acceptable. It's allowed. Walk away rather than committing suicide. You don't know if this door is closed. You don't know what is open for you next. So why do you have to commit suicide? But we are not going to blame her. We are not going to judge her because judgment is only with Allah. So we are not going to judge her. That is between her and Allah. But all we know for a fact is committing suicide is haram so instead of committing suicide to us to us the living because she is gone now to us the living instead of committing suicide thinking that's the only way out choose divorce choose divorce is the best for you you might not know whatever opportunity is waiting for you again choose divorce rather than committing suicide or rather than waiting for you to be murdered because another case has happened like that recently the, le the lady was murdered by the husband so instead of you to wait to be murdered or for you to commit suicide why don't you choose divorce it's simple and it's best if you think i've tried all possible means and it's not working and what i still don't understand is with our generation whatever we are facing in terms of marriage Marriage has been, in has been in existence since the time of creation. 
so whatever you are going through it has been experienced before so i always ask myself i think if someone can help me clear up this concept of mind why are we still into serious marital problems when others have gone through it how did they solve it how did it ended with them because for sure this is not the first time maybe someone is committing suicide out of marriage or someone has been murdered out of marriage it has been it, it has happened before so if you are facing a problem and you think there is no solution why don't you voice out why don't you speak so that those who have experienced it before how did they solve this and if they couldn't solve it just like this lady who has ended up committing suicide if i don't want to commit suicide like her then it's better that i walk away it's better that you walk away let's always be conscious about our life let's value our life let's take things around us seriously it started from one two three if they, you are facing problems one after the other due to culture because definitely religious doesn't support this and if your culture is contradictory to religion since the religion religion is the ultimate goal why don't you choose the best one for you religiously how do i solve the problem that i'm facing you understand we should ask questions because there is nothing that islam doesn't have answers to it it has answers to all your problems and sometimes patience is the best medicine that you can swallow when you are in problem and being patient doesn't mean you don't have to voice out whatever is aching your heart you have to voice it out then you will get solution to it may allah give us patience may allah gives us patience may allah give us patience may allah help us in whatever problem we are facing and may he the almighty make things easy for us assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu